Hello, good morning friends. I am Dr. P. Unayak. I am a specialist dermatologist in Saudi German Hospital, Dubai. And today I am going to talk regarding hair fall issues, the reasons and treatment and the approach with what way we can uh, reduce hair fall problem. First of all, hair is the only organ which go throughout the life in a cyclic pattern. It's having three phases growth phase, involution phase and resting phase. Growth phase is called as an energy phase. Our 90% of scalp hair is in a growth phase which lasts for three years. While involution phase is called catagen phase, 1% of our hair, scalp hairs are in uh, involution phase and after that the phase of shedding will come. 10% of our scalp hair are in this phase called resting phase also known as telogen phase. So due to this cyclic process, normal 100 to 200 hair falls per day, everybody is getting. But if it is more than 200, if these phases are really very fast, then it is considered as a problem. It might give you baldness, it might give you other hair fall disorders. <clears throat> Why hair is important? Well, it's not only the cosmetic reason. It's not only to enhance your personality and confidence, but it's also a protective method for your scalp skin. It's also have other functions like it, it's giving insulation effect. It's, it's a having sensory organ. It's a protective way. It's also having a um, function of facilitating the oil sebum and uh, it also having protective effect from the dirt. So there are lots of normal function of hair. Now, premature greying of hair, which also known as canitis, can start from third decade to fourth decade. And data suggests that at the age of 50, almost 50% of population, they have at least 50% of grey hair. Depending on the problem, these issues can also be delayed. Second thing, hair are mainly divided in three parts known as cuticle which is outermost part which is meant of dead keratinocyte the inner part known as cortex which is meant of melanocytes which is responsible for color of hair and innermost part called as medulla so for a normal hair shaft strength all three layers should be strong then only your hair will be strong hair fall can be due to from the root level or even the hair shaft problem can lead the breakage of hair in between. What are the common causes of hair fall? Well, uh, hair fall can be divided generally in two patterns. One is diffuse hair fall, another is patchy hair fall or pattern hair fall. Diffuse hair fall means the hairs are falling from all over the scalp and which is leading gradual thinning of the hair, which is leading gradual, you know, your scalp is visible from far. So this is uh, mainly due to telogen effluvium while pattern hair loss includes alopecia areata or certain infections and also androgenetic alopecia. Now I will explain you in detail what are these conditions. First we will see telogen effluvium. <coughs> Sorry, telogen effluvium is the condition in which there is a diffuse hair fall due to underlying causes. What are the causes? Main causes are prolonged illness, chronic infections, endocrinopathies that means a thyroid disease, other endocrinological disease, certain medication intake for long time like retinoids, uh, anti-conversion, anti-depressions, beta blockers, interferons and uh, sometimes due to crushed dieting, liquid protein diet, um, prolonged chronic stress, all these are reasons for uh, hair fall. Certain nutritional deficiency, vitamin D deficiency, selenium deficiency, anemias, iron deficiency are also associated with telogen effluvium. How we can investigate? We have to go step by step. Starting from the clinical examination, there is one test called hair pull test. When we are pulling 10 bunch of hair, normally due to uh, strength of hair bunch, it will not shed out. But when it is telogen effluvium, they are loose from the root and you will see one or two hair is shedding out. This is called hair pull test. There is another method called trichoscopy in that there is one in, uh, electronic instrument is there with that we can see a magnificent view of your scalp which will give us an idea of density of hair and hair shaft also. 
Another thing we have to go through certain laboratory tests. We have to rule out vitamin D deficiency. We have to do thyroid test. If other symptoms are th like that with uh, delusion effluvium, like acne, obesity, hair fall, and irregular menstrual cycle, especially in young girls, we have to check for PCOD, polycystic ovarian disease also. Followed by blood test investigation, if any proven deficiency is there, like vitamin D deficiency or iron deficiency, we have to treat those deficiency as well. Then we can start some supplements which will uh, stimulate hair follicle to grow. We can also start minoxidil solution which increase the vascularity in your hair follicle and it will stimulate the more hair to grow. Uh, we can go through certain procedures also like platelet rich plasma therapy. Now proceeding to pattern alopecia, most common uh, form of pattern alopecia is androgenetic alopecia. We usually see a male after the age of 30 or 35, they are showing burning from the temporal region which gradually spreads through whole over scalp till the age of 50 and it will, it is due to genetic predisposition, gradual miniaturization or scarring of the hair follicle which will gradually give thin 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 hair and ultimately the follicle will completely disappear from the area which will lead baldness this is also known as male pattern alopecia which is really very common problem but if we can start treatment from the early age or from the early stage like stage one if we are starting treatment we can also delay it Regarding hair fall issues, the treatment usually lasts for 6 to 9 months. But if it is related to androgenetic alopecia or male pattern baldness, probably longer than that treatment is required. Again, the same, we can start certain uh, anti-androgen medication because it is also related to hormonal uh, predisposition, genetic predisposition. So we can start certain anti-androgen medication. We can go with the minoxidil solution and of course PRP will help in male pattern baldness as well. Another most common pattern alopecia which we, I am uh, usually coming across in many patients is alopecia areata. In this type of alopecia there is a patchy hair loss without any other symptom like pain or itching. It could be beard region, it could be scalp region also. Uh, alopecia areata is immunological hair fall why because it is usually related to your t cell immunity uh, what does it mean it might uh, associated with genetic predisposition as well as uh, strong oxidative stress in your body due to stress due to smoking due to nutritional deficiencies if you have underlying type 1 diabetes you are more prone to get this type of alopecia if you have autoimmune diseases or autoimmune endocrinopathy, thyroid disease, then also you might get this type of lesions. And uh, <clears throat> sometimes it is also associated with asthma, certain allergic rhinitis or history of atopy. Well, these type of alopecias are also treatable if patient is coming in an early stage, like 10 to 15 page, we can treat it easily. But if it is involving the whole scalp, which is known as alopecia totalis, then it's quite difficult. But still we have solution. There are new recent therapies like biological therapy, PUA therapy. With that we can treat alopecia totalis as well. If it is involving your eyelash, scalp, eyebrow and body hair which is known as alopecia universalis. It's the last stage of alopecia areata and this is very difficult to treat. So it is always advisable you should come to doctor if you see a single patch of hair loss or if you feel anywhere your hair density is getting lower, your scalp is visible or any other abnormality. <clears throat> now let's discuss regarding the recent therapies of hair fall. Well, starting from the oral medications and we have now a very uh, good treatment for pattern as well as non-pattern hair fall called PR. As I discussed earlier, if you are deficient of any supplements like vitamin D, iron, those supplements are really important to take to fulfill the deficiency. We can also start certain hair growing keratins and vitamins on a regular basis. Regarding general care, you should improve your diet, you should in take uh, cereals, pulses, protein diet, never cut your carbohydrate as well because uh, if you are uh, cutting carbohydrate from your diet, 
then your hair strength will not be that much to stay on your scalp. See, protein is important to form hair shaft, while carbohydrate is important to make it strong from the root level. So both should be there in your diet. You can also add lean meat, lots of vegetable, milk and milk products. Third thing regarding general care of hair, uh, you should always use mild shampoos. Never go for harsh uh, anti dandruff shampoos for a long time if you are not having any problem. Always use cold water or mildly warm water. Never go for excessively hot water. Avoid hot iron therapy or excessive hair blowing oftenly. Um, hair straightening, rebonding and uh, other um, parlor procedures you can do once in a six month. Don't go overboard on it. And um, regarding uh, PRP therapy, it's a very good treatment. It's it's uh, most advanced therapy which we have here in our hospital for hair fall patients. Uh, it's having a small machine in that we will take a small amount of your blood like 2 ml. We will put in a centrifuge. We will separate the plasma which is rich of platelet. That's why it's called PRP therapy, platelet rich plasma. It's completely safe because it's biological. It's your own blood which we are taking, we are centrifuging and we are separating a plasma which is rich of platelet and we re-inject in your scalp again. What is the mechanism under this treatment? Our blood is having natural growth factor which can stimulate the vascular growth factor, endothelial growth factor which help to uh, prevent the miniaturization of hair follicle, the scarring of hair follicle. It will improve the new endothelial cell to grow, new collagen to grow, new follicle to grow. So in that way we are stimulating our hair follicle to form new hair and uh, you can see response. I would like to explain you something regarding the recent most therapy for hair fall which is also known as PRP. What does PRP means? PRP means platelet rich plasma therapy. In our blood only we are having many factors which is responsible for healing, which is responsible for collagen formation, which is responsible for endothelial and vascular uh, growth. So we can use the same factor which is there in our body only to stimulate our hair follicle. So how does this therapy work? We usually take a 2 to 5 ml of your blood sample same as the sample which is which is taken in the laboratory and then we will put in this machine it is called as a centrifuge it will run 8000 um, uh, per second uh, uh, way and then uh, for after 8 minutes we will take a separate layer of plasma which is rich of platelet and we will re-inject in your scalp how does it work? As I told you, in telogen effluum as well as endogenetic alopecia, there is a miniaturization of hair follicle. Slowly, slowly the hair shaft will thin and then it will disappear. It will lead the scarring of hair follicle. We can stimulate our own hair follicle with our own uh, growth factor and vascular factor through activated platelet. And that will stimulate the hair follicle to grow more hair. It's completely safe therapy, it's biological therapy, it's autologous therapy. We are not injecting any other foreign body or any other material. We are just injecting your own blood after certain process and which is stimulating your hair follicle to grow. Usually the therapy sessions are 3 to 6 in numbers. Then followed by uh, you can go for the maintenance session to keep your hair growth maintained. Every month we are advising one session. Uh, after 3 months we have to evaluate the growth and uh, the effect of therapy followed by we can prolong the treatment every two months. It is also used for um, rejuvenation of face as I told you it is having lots of collagen stimulating factor vascular and endothelial growth factor which will stimulate your natural collagen. So this PRP therapy is a boon for hair fall treatments. I am Dr. P. U. Nair. If you have any query, any confusion regarding why your hair is falling, do you want to meet me or do you want to ask me anything, you can always come to Saudi German Hospital, Dubai.